Hello everybody, my name is uh, Petr Votava. I am the QA manager located in uh, Czech Republic in Plzeň. Plzeň and I will show you short demo about the device explorer, which uh, device uh, OPC server, device explorer OPC server, which was just uh, introduced by Ed. So, so as uh, it was already mentioned, uh, the device explorer OPC server is uh, installation is located on 1097.1 DVD. So you can find it uh, here and you can also install it from there. There are two installations of this uh, OPC server. There is the 64-bit one and the 32-bit one. And there is also the README for the installation. So you can e easily check uh, what's uh, needed and so on. There is one, uh, one important note. So if you want to uh, connect uh, over DCOM locally to this OPC server, you should uh, set your DCOM settings after the installation. And you can easily run the installation by clicking on that link. Enter some some information, and uh, you will get to the, to the screen where you can where you can select uh, the driver which you which you want to or we would like to to use. So I will skip this step and uh, switch to the second uh, machine where I have already installed the device explorer, and I will show you what what is needed to change in the decom settings so you can uh, connect uh, to this uh, OPC server locally. So you will find in DCOM config the device explorer OPC server 6. Right click on that, select properties, and on the identity tab, you should select the, the interactive user. Once you will do this, uh, you need to restart the server or, or whole machine, and it should it should work, and you, you should be able to browse uh, to browse the uh, this server. Okay, uh, so the, so we have installed the uh, the uh, OPC server. Now I will show you the licensing. So Ed already mentioned that it can be licensed uh, via the our uh, license uh, web utility. And if you uh, go to the monitor receiver to the licensing tab, you should see there the three the the three uh, license editions which were mentioned by Ed. As you can see, the advanced, enterprise, and standard. There are also the licenses for the uh, IoT works, as you can see here. Another way how you can uh, check your license for the device explorer is uh, directly in the device explorer, and there is the uh, in help and license. You will get this uh, uh, dialog, and you can see which version of are you using uh, or which component are installed, and if they are uh, properly working, and so on. And you can see that we are using the Iconix license. Okay, uh, next uh, topic, uh, I will show you how to connect. Uh, it was already uh, showed by Ed about how to connect to some PLC. So I will do that uh, in a re real. So you will right click on the project and select the project wizard uh, here in a check UA. We have the uh, some testing PLC small, which is a uh, Coyo. Click Coyo, so I will use this one. So you will select the driver which you would like to use. Uh, enter the device name, and after that you will get to this uh, to this dialog. You need to enter the uh, the the target IP, and you can check uh, if uh, you can ping that uh, the, that device. You can see that it's OK, so we can go to the next step. Here we need to specify the address area and again you can do the connection uh, test and everything is OK. And last step, we can uh, set some some uh, tech which is uh, on that, uh, which will be connected to that uh, device. So I have one prepared. So we will enter the device type, the device number and so on and you can click finish and it will create the project with that tag and there is the functionality that you can immediately monitor monitor the created tags and you can see that uh, that we are connected the communications okay and value is on 
Of course, you can also use the, the data explorer. Uh, so here we go to the OPC data access. Uh, find it uh, Takebishi device explorer. Here we have prepared the coil and here is the tag which we just created and we can connect it. Uh, I guess I hope we can get the data. Here, here it is. Another uh, another functionality of the device explorer is also that it it is also uh, or it is able to communicate via the Ethernet IP uh, protocol. So we can uh, do another project. Uh, here we can select the Ethernet IP protocol again. Uh, we, we can enter some name. It will show another configuration dialog. Need to specify the uh, device address. We, we are again connecting to the click coil de device, which also supports the Ethernet IP. Uh, unfortunately, it does it support only this uh, connection type. Uh, the class three is not supported. And again, we can check the pink. It's OK. Hit next to the device pro properties here. We don't need to change anything and the connection is again OK. So we can specify some tag and uh, there is already one tag with this configuration. So we just click finish. And here we can see that the Ethernet IP project was created with this tag. Again, we can uh, we already have uh, enabled the view. Here you can see the, uh, the value. Same can be, can be done uh, again via the uh, via the uh, data explorer. Okay, you can see here here is the number. OK, uh, there is also the possibility that you can connect to the OPC UA server. It can be configured in tools and options. And there is the there is this uh, OPC UA server settings. So you can configure here whatever you need. So I have enabled the UA server completely, enabled the anonymous, and here you can see the port and some other uh, settings. So this was already predefined and uh, after that uh, you need to configure also the connection from uh, from Genesis. So you will need to configure it in a workbench. There is the OPC UA network configuration. Uh, you can enter the server name and the uh, the end, uh, primary endpoint. And if you can click and everything is uh, properly uh, set, you can also select or pick the preferred endpoint and once you are done just click the connection and you can see that we are pro properly connected and again you can check it here again go back to the uh, data explorer opc ua device and here you can see what we have already already uh, configured uh, previously and uh, we can read the, the data uh, through opc ua OK, and the last topic uh, to show is uh, the import from the OPC UA Capfair. So I have some uh, configuration from the uh, prepared in the Capfair. Again, it's uh, connected to the uh, click coil device and uh, with some some tags and the import is really uh, simple. You will just right click on the device, select the export CSV. It, was, uh, it will prepare the CSV file, was save. Uh, now we can go back to the, uh, to the uh, uh, device explorer, create a new project. Uh, we will select the Modbus Ethernet for our test. For our test, uh, add some device name. Uh, enter again, as we already did, the Target IP, you can check if everything is OK. It should be uh, communication, connection, again OK, and a finish. Now we have a prepared the project, which is connected to the Capfair. And right now we just need to uh, right click on that project and select Tech Import. We will browse for the CSV, which was created or was exported from Capfair. Click OK. It, uh, it can also detect that some tech was already uh, pre-created, so we just just simply check the override and click OK. 
and it will import it. And as you can see, uh, we should get the oh, sorry, we should get data. I will. And we should get data. I don't know what's happened right now. Maybe some port is closed, but uh, basically it, it works. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot show it to, to you right now. And that's it from my side. Thank you.